Cleethorpe's Chronicle, please. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Why, if it isn't old Tommy Hansy. Well, well, as the man said when he came out of hospital. Hello, Bill. Well, fancy seeing you here, you big stiff. Do you own this bookstore? <laughs> Still as funny as ever, Tommy. Go on, you flatter me. Listen, Tommy, do me a favour. Look after the store for a while. I just want to, uh... Telephone? Yes, that's it. All right, Bill. You leave it to me. I'll show you how to run a bookstore, but don't be too long. Have you the red magazine? All our magazines are red, sir. Red from cover to cover. I mean the red, R-E-D magazine. And I don't want any impertinence. We don't keep impertinence here, sir. You'll get that at the ticket office. Ah! Will you give me the red magazine? I'm sorry, sir. No red mag. I can give you a couple of pinkens or Pansy's paper. Pansy's paper? Ha! And far to you. Run away and watch the puff puffs. The young man, can you give me something to last me to crew? Uh, certainly, madam. Uh, here's a packet of chewing gum. That'll last you to Manchester if you don't swallow it. It's our own special chewing gum, madam. Stick to the top teeth, but not to the bottom. I mean something to file away the time. Something light and gladsome. Oh, light and gladsome. Uh, oh, I see. Well, what about a balloon? Here you are. Two zeps and a round one for tuppence. Of course, if you want something to read, uh, let me see now. There's the uh, Licensed Victualers Gazette, the Anti-Vivisectionist, the Fishmonger's Almanac, and... Oh, just the thing, lady. Here's a copy of Bally Who. Bally what? No, who? Who? Me. You? No, who? That's precisely what I am asking you. Oh, dear. I suppose you can understand me, madam. Quite, quite. And you can hear every word I say. Quite, quite. Now, don't let that duck egg hear what I wanted to say was, the paper is called Ballyhoo. Oh. Yes, it's a very, very nice paper. It's a bit saucy, but I think it'll just suit you. Now, just look at this one. Uh, uh, there was a young lady of Chichester, and Oh, she, how dare uh, you, you scoundrel! I'll call a policeman. I've never been... No good calling a policeman. He knows that one. Oh, well, I'm not selling much, but I'm having a lot of fun. The star, please. Stand up. News, please. Oh, well, sixpence in the kitty so far. Young man. Can you direct me to Cheltenham? Uh, yes, sir. Round the corner and down the steps. I take Cheltenham. Oh, sorry. I thought you said something else. And I want the Ram's Bottom Observer. Ram's Bottom Observer? Is that a paper, sir? What do you think it is? Sounds to me like a profession. No, sir, I'm sorry, I haven't got it. I've got the listener and the looker-on, but I don't keep Ram's Bottoms here. Try the butchers across the road. Chips, please. Now, what do you think this is, a coffee stall? Do you want any vinegar on? No. Chips, the comic paper. Oh, the comic paper. Oh, all right, son. I've got all the comic papers here. Now, let me see, where are they? Uh, Radio Times, The Abstainer, The Feathered World, and John Bull. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. There's no chips. Now, run away and kiss the station master. Here, young man, have you got any raspberries? Raspberries? What do you think this is, a fruit stall? This is a book stall. We don't sell raspberries. Oh, wait a minute, missus. Here's a trumpet. Blow yourself out a couple on that. Have you the bath examiner? The bath examiner? What are you, a plumber? Oh, mind your own business. You'd better mind yours. Examining baths at your age, you old rascal. Peeping through keyholes. I know you. The bath examiner. Go away or I'll throw a Bradshaw at you. Oh, uh, please, uh, have you the time? Uh, no, miss, sir. Not at present. But I'll meet you in half an hour. Who does she think I am, Big Ben? Oh, no, I, I really want a book to read. Something full of passion. I'm going to Brighton. Well, can't you wait until you get there? Well, just a minute, lady. Now, let me see. Passion, passion. Ah, here we are. The ABC timetable. How to cure distemper. What a young girl should know. She was only a dustman's daughter, but she wasn't to be sniffed at. Three weeks. A couple of fortnights. Uh, hello, she's gone. The passion's worn off. <laughs> Young fellow, I want the sketch, chapter, Britannia, graphic, financial times, tidbits, everybody's weekly. Hurry up. Can't wait. Send them along to the Pullman. Platform 10, Golden Arrow. Only two minutes. Hurry up. Oh, the sketch of the traffic and the graphic and the prudential. Uh, hurry up. Financial platform, 10 Golden Arrows, everybody's tidbits. Oh, I'm going balmy. I say, Porter, you with the wheelbarrow and the two left legs, take this blinking bookstall along to the Pullman on platform 10. And tell the golden ram's bottom to... Oh, well, so long, folks.